Good morning, everybody. A big crowd today. So, Matt, Bay, can you take us through the process of ending the contract with St. Petersburg and signing with the Flyers and coming here today? Можешь рассказать, как закончился контракт с в России и как ты подписал контракт здесь? У меня была мечта играть в НХЛ, вот, и клуб СКА пошел мне навстречу, все сделал возможно для моей мечты, за это я им очень благодарен, и теперь я нахожусь здесь и очень счастлив этому. Uh, he had a dream to play in uh, NHL. Uh, the uh, club SKA make it possible and release him, and now he's here. Danny, maybe can you just take us into what it was like getting Matt Bay here over the past couple of weeks? Um, I imagine it was kind of a long journey, long process. Yeah, yeah, we started, uh, you know, hearing rumblings after the season that uh, there was a possibility of it happening. Uh, we talked to his representatives, his agents, um, and, and, you know, to, to help us uh, understanding what was going on. They did most of the work and, uh, uh, you know, it was definitely exciting to, to more uh, when we realized that there was a strong possibility that it could happen. Uh, but yeah, it was definitely a long wait. Um, you know, when we drafted him last year, uh, we never thought this would happen. Um, part of the reason why he fell to us um, you know, because he would have gone a lot earlier. We, we knew that. We felt we were in a position to be able to wait uh, the three years for him to come. So uh, to have this opportunity it's, it is amazing. Uh, to get him early um, at 19 years old, to learn, um, you know, under a coach like Torts and the coaching staff that we have, I think it's, it's a great opportunity for him and, and for us to have him early. Some people have called, uh, called him the savior of this team. Do you embrace that label, or do you dismiss it and, and not really think about that? Некоторые люди называют тебя то, что ты эту команду подтянешь, выведешь, сохранишь. Ты чувствуешь себя то, что это к тебе относится, или ты просто играть приехал? Нет, у меня всегда была задача по жизни это выигрывать, вот, и я сделал все возможное чтобы помочь команде добиться как можно больше побед и кубков. His uh, uh, the main idea that always was uh, to win, drive to win, and he's here to help the team to win. Просто просто играть это не для меня. Моя uh, задача всегда выигрывать. Just to play, not his style, and he's here to win. Matthew, how much contact did you have with the Flyers during the past season when you were in Sochi, and you know what? what what do you have to do? Do you think to, you know, get ready, acclimate yourself to NHL hockey? You know, what what what, what parts of your game do you want to maybe change or improve upon? Как часто ты у тебя был контакт с Флайерсами, когда ты играл в Сочи, и что ты думаешь по поводу адаптации в НХЛ? Что ты считаешь, что тебе нужно поменять в твоей игре? Когда, конечно, довольно-таки часто созванивались, списывались, Флайерс следил за моей игрой, подсказывал мне нюансы, которые стоит исправить, вот, чтобы лучше адаптация пришла тогда, когда я приеду сюда. Вот, и э, все, сегодня второй день здесь, и все, пытаюсь прийти в себя после долгих перелетов, вот, но, слава богу, сегодня вот уже полегче. Сегодня покатался, потренировался и чувствую себя отлично. Uh, Flyers was in contact a lot, uh, not just on the phone, the text message and etc. So he, they, they was watching him play and tell him what he can do different in the game while he's in Sochi. Uh, for the second question is, uh, it's the second day, it was a very long fly day, travel day for him. Uh, he was on the ice today, he feels better and uh, he will get better and better. The, the kind of the flip side of the question, uh, he's the savior of the organization. Your role now is that to temper expectations so people don't put too much on the shoulders of a, of a 19 year old. Yeah, we, we don't see him as a savior. That's 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 certainly not um, what we're putting on his shoulder. Uh, he's 19 years old. He's uh, he's coming in uh, to learn, um, you know, to expand his game. And, and obviously, we hope that the sky's the limit for him. Um, but. It, that's certainly not. We're not expecting him to to be the savior of, of this team. We're building a team that's going to have 
uh, many pieces to work together, and we're hoping that that he becomes, uh, you know, one of them. Kenny, what's this moment like for you? I mean, he fell to seven. You had the chance to take him. You had the expectation that he wouldn't be here for three years, but he's here the year after. What's for you? For you what's this moment like? I, I didn't expect it, um, to be honest. I mean, it's it's pretty amazing. Um, when we drafted him, we had no expectation of, of him coming in until his contract was done. Um, I, like I said earlier, that's the reason why he fell, because uh, he, he would have gone, you know, in, in the top probably two or three at, at the most. So. Um, uh, you know, it's 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 a great break for us, for the organization, to to have him early, to have him at 19. Um, you know, I know I've said this a few times before, but the chance for him to learn under Torts, um, we all know um, that you know he's gifted offensively, very very talented, uh, but he's going to have the the chance to learn under Torts, to to play the other side of uh, of the ice as well, and that that gets me excited. That, He's going to get that base uh, early on. Uh, I think it's just going to make him better for the rest of his career. This one's for uh, for Mafe. I, I think it's undeniable that Philadelphia sports fans, Flyers fans, are, are extremely excited. You see it on social media. You see it when you talk to fans. But how aware are you of how excited they are, or do you kind of just tune all that out? Не видел, не слышал, как фанаты относятся к твоему приезду сюда. Насколько ты, насколько ты видел это, или ты читаешь это, как ты к этому относишься? Да, это нереальная поддержка, в первую очередь, фанатов Flyers. Очень круто, что так любят хоккей, вот, и очень тепло меня встретили, очень благодарен им, и <coughs> надеюсь, что... Точнее, не надеюсь, я уверен в том, что они будут приходить также на матчи, поддерживать нашу команду. Но от нас самая главная задача – это показывать наилучший хоккей и выигрывать каждый матч, на который они будут приходить. Это то, та задача, над которой нам нужно работать сейчас. Uh, it's unreal how the fans react and how well, welcome he felt here coming in. Um, at the same time, the main idea right now is getting ready and show the hockey, really good hockey for the, the f uh, fans and uh, play the best game they can play. Mate, have you spoken to John Tortorella yet and, or exchanged texts with him? And what's the exchange been like? Ты разговаривал с Джоном уже? Или по текстам, или просто разговаривал? Честно говоря, мы еще не виделись, вот, но я с нетерпением жду нашей встречи. Очень хотел бы, чтобы она произошла в скором времени. Truthfully, he did not meet him yet. And, uh, but he is uh, waiting, uh, and he wants to meet with the coach. I remember at the draft last summer, you remembered your dad and said your dad always wanted you to play in the NHL and get drafted. Just how special is this moment where he's realizing his NHL dream? I imagine he's been thinking about his draft. Он помнит, когда ты на драфте был, ты говорил, что твой папа хотел всегда, чтобы ты играл в НХЛ. Как ты себя чувствуешь, то, что сейчас это происходит? Папа был бы доволен, счастлив. Ну, пока что я еще не понимаю, как себя чувствую, но как во сне, как будто бы, да, это еще не верится в это, то, что я здесь сейчас. Вот, но со временем, думаю, пройдет эта климатизация, и буду чувствовать себя очень... Ну, очень хорошо и уверенно. Вот, я думаю, что папа гордился бы мной, но хотелось бы выиграть э, в честь него и Кубок Стэнли, и все трофеи, которые возможны. It's uh, not settled yet. It's, he does feel real. It feels like a dream. Uh, he's still kind of in the, kind of just coming in yet uh, as of right now. Uh, but uh, he thinks uh, the father would be really proud and he wants to help the team and win with the team Stanley Cup and all all cups possible. Сыграть в НХЛ может каждый, а выиграть единиц. Uh play in NHL uh play in NHL uh can be doing a lot of guys, but winning not a lot. Danny, with regards to, you know, Mate kind of getting used to a new country, a new organization. What are the Flyers doing uh, to make that process as, as seamless as, as possible for him? Yeah, I mean, it's, uh, you know, it's, it's never easy what he's, what he's going through. Um, you know, I was telling him yesterday that when I was 19, I came to the U.S. I didn't speak English. Uh, also in, in the hockey, 
uh, terms helped me uh, navigate and learn the language because you, you can understand the, the terms and then that's how you you learn to make sentences and and eventually you start to get the jokes I, I had a hard time with that as well too um, but you know the culture is totally different coming from Canada to the US versus coming from Russia so uh, it's not gonna be easy for him what do we try to do we you know start with a tutor um, that's the first thing that we're gonna try to help him with uh, obviously resigning uh, Zamula uh, bringing in Fedotov um, at the end of last season uh, those those are, are guys that hopefully will be able to help them. But we also have a pretty tight locker room. Um, you know, guys like uh, Nick Delorier and Garnet Hathaway. Uh, just to start with those two guys, Eric Johnson, uh, that are you know great veterans that understand that have been around a long time. And make sure that he, he's, he fits in, and they're going to help him out. They're going to go out of their way uh, to make that. And that's why having good veterans is is a key when you bring young guys uh you know out of their kind of comfort comfort um is is really important so those are little things and you know everything we're going to find or be able to help them along the way we're going to try to do our best i think you said on the Andrea Organa show this morning that um Mate's mom and little brother are coming over? Yeah for as far as we know like eventually uh you know in a month month and a half that that uh, that's the plan you know plans can always go sideways but I think that's the plan eventually uh, so it'd be good to have you know his mom and his brother little brother with him uh, that's uh, also something that's going to help him a lot I think when did you when did you when when did you maybe learn that this was possible you know, how long ago did you did you learn that you could potentially come over here and and, and how 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 I guess you know how how frustrating or how smooth was the process for you to get here? А когда ты узнал, что у тебя ты сюда можешь приехать, и насколько процесс был комфортный, некомфортный под приезда? Процесс был тяжелый, да, долгий, но он меня не касался никак. Этим занимались мои представители и представители Flyers SK, как бы клубы между собой договаривались. Я в этом процессе никак не участвовал. Я просто продолжал тренироваться и готовиться ко всему, что бы то ни было, вот, и, к счастью для меня, сложилось так, что я сейчас здесь, я очень счастлив, и спасибо руководству Флайерс и болельщикам, которые меня ждали, я очень рад здесь находиться сейчас с вами. Процесс был долгий, но он не был involved в этом. Между СКА и Флайерс было было негативное, и процесс не был никаким образом выкинен из-за этого. Его основная цель была готовиться к come over and uh, uh, play here and uh, very happy to be here uh, thanks for the fans and uh, looking forward to play here players such as Eric Johnson said they've been in contact with you on Instagram messages have you talked to anybody else on this current team uh, through social media or just communication any type of way Игроки, как Эрик Джонсон, с тобой сконтактировали на социальных медиа. Ты с кем-нибудь еще из игроков был в контакте? Да, конечно. И с Эриком был в контакте, и с русскими ребятами, с Ваней Федотовым, с Егором Замулой. Вот. Еще писали ребята, капитан команды писал. Вот. И очень тепло меня встретили, я очень рад. И я отвечу всем тем же, таким же теплом к ним. Вот. И очень благодарен ребятам. Надеюсь, что в дальнейшем познакомимся с ними вживую и будем еще ближе друг к другу. Uh, a lot of guys was in contact. Uh, uh, Ivan, Igor, uh, the captain of the team, reach out. Um, uh, was, he was thankful. Uh, he's thankful for a warm welcome. Um, looking forward to meet everybody personally and looking forward to the great season. We also just on that we also also showed him a video of his uh, uh, a fight uh, between uh, Nick and uh, in a Rangers game last year. We told him it's, it's his new best friend coming in. <laughs> <laughs> How much uh, English does he know now, and uh, how comforting is it to have a couple Russians on the team with him to navigate, help him navigate the language? Насколько ты знаешь английский на данный момент, и насколько это хорошо, что 
насколько поможет, ты считаешь, поможет то, что несколько русских на команде? Да, конечно, люди, которые знают русский язык, и они находятся рядом, это всегда приятно, в помощь мне идет в данный момент, потому что сейчас второй день в Филадельфии, вот, и с языковым барьером немного трудностей, вот, но я стараюсь с каждым днем все больше и больше понимать, что мне говорят, и надеюсь, что скоро что и отвечать тоже буду по-английски. Um, it's really comfortable to have somebody that speaks negative language uh, on the team, but he's every day getting more and more English, so hopefully soon he will be able not just uh, listen, but uh, reply, answer. A few more questions. Matt, uh, you came off uh, the plane with the Phillies hat. Um, how long have you had that hat, and whose idea was that? Ты приехал в кепке из Филы, Филы кепка. Как долго то она у тебя находится, и чья идея была это? Да, идея общая была, да, все знают то, что здесь есть бейсбольная хорошая, лучшая команда, поэтому с удовольствием бы в ближайшее время сходил на нее и познакомился там с игроками, с командой. Мне интересно всегда было, как это люди находятся и как работают в другом виде спорта, поэтому будем болеть за эту команду бейсбольно. Идея была, the mutual idea, the, the everybody come up with that. Uh, he knows the, the baseball team at the Philadelphia, uh, one of the best, and he's uh, want to go meet uh, with the players, watch the game. And just uh, he knows there's uh, one of the best teams here. Favorite player? Favorite player? Yeah, <laughs> Zabu. <laughs> he don't. He don't remember the favorite player. He. Danny, you talked about you know the importance of, of coaching and whatnot, but obviously there's you know a language gap there in terms of the, the coaches, you know John Tortorella and whatnot. How are you guys going to make that work logistically? Like, are you going to have a translator around? Do you believe that that's not going to be an issue because of the universality of hockey yeah. terminology, things like that? Yeah, from my own personal experience with that, it, it'll take um, you know a couple months for him to feel more and more comfortable. Uh, the hockey terms are very similar. Um, I'm, I'm not worried about that, especially with him being here right two months early. Uh, he's going to feel more and more comfortable. Um, you know, and, and with torts, uh, sometimes words uh, uh, are not necessarily have to be spoken. So um, I, I'm really not worried. I think by the time training camp starts uh, and as regular season starts, um, he'll be he'll feel comfortable and it won't be an issue. Danny, your roster really didn't change all that much from, from the end of last season. Just from a pure hockey standpoint, from a skill standpoint, what can he add to the group? Another another level of, of skill. Um, you know, the, a few things uh, have changed, but uh, for me, it's the growth, uh, internal growth. Um, you know, our, our younger guys are getting a year older, uh, a little bit more mature. Um, you know, so t to add a player of his talent level um, is just uh, hopefully eventually going to make us a better team, and that's why where where we're at. At our in our timeline, um, it's kind of a good timing to, to bring him in and uh, expose him to our style of play. Yeah. Matt, 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 needs you. How? What do you hope to bring to the lineup on a nightly basis? Что ты думаешь ты добавишь в команде на на играх на каждый день? Я надеюсь, что добавлю прежде всего молодую кровь в голов что все от меня ждут. Хочу каждую игру побеждать и буду делать все возможное для победы команды. Что мне скажут делать, то я буду делать. Я буду делать объ большой объем работы, чтобы команда выиграла. И тут большие надежды возлагают мне и фанаты. Я не могу как-то плохо подготовиться к сезону, к руководству, руководству мне, я думаю, что доверяю. Да? Так тепло встретили меня. Я должен ответить максимальностью, максимальностью своей, своей стороны и всем тем же самым, что дают мне в данный момент. И будем Будем выигрывать. Окей. First of all, uh, bring the young blood to the team. Uh, bring, the, uh, put the goals on the on the scoreboard. Um, uh, help the team win uh, night after night, um, so the fans can be coming and enjoying the games more and more, and uh, uh, help the team basically to win the whole thing. Last one. Has he, have you set any goals for your rookie year, like as far as goals, points, that type of thing? Ты какую-нибудь себе задачу, план какой-нибудь на на первый год по голам, по ассистентам, что-нибудь у тебя в планах есть в голове? 
Да, в планах, конечно, есть, но, я думаю, первая задача – это чтобы команда пала в плей-офф и забралась как можно выше по турнирной таблице. Вот, а свои личные цели есть в голове, но они всегда как бы есть, есть были будут, но это в себе, во мне, как бы, я не готов говорить об этом. The first uh, plan to, for the team to make the playoffs and uh, uh, get uh, the, uh, in, the, in the playoffs, uh, the, for him personal plans, he would keep it to himself. They are there, but he will keep them to himself. Uh, the go all the way.